Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack and today I'm going to tell you how to memorize your letter scheme and how to improve on doing so and also why you should do it. So, um, first of all, um, what, what is a letter scheme? So, a letter scheme is just a way to um, help you encode information for solving Ruby's cube blindfolded faster. Um, you can like memorize just like the stickers as in like, for example, oh, that goes to there, that goes to there. I actually used to do this for a while, fun fact, until I reached around two minutes then I switched to letter pairs. Like I took a really weird route in terms of memorizing the cube. Um, but from my own personal experience and from seeing how pretty much every top line folded solver in the world memorizes, at least in, you know, the English sort of speaking sphere, um, it's definitely like necessary. Um, and also very much an efficient way of memorizing things because you can turn letters into letter pairs, which you can make into words, images, and all that fun stuff that your brain can actually like process aside from like, I don't know, a massive random jumble of colors. So I guess the question then is, um, how do you do it? So first of all, um, if you've seen my old Pokemon tutorial, you might know this already, but I recommend memorizing the first letter of each face. So I'm using the Spef scheme as an example here, and it's probably a good starting point because everyone seems to use it, and you'll probably be able to follow tutorials that sort of show examples using them more easily, but more on that later. So starting out for edges, we have A at the top here. Then we go to the left face, E, and just kind of going that way around the cube, I, M, Q, U. So what I recommend doing as a beginner is memorizing those six letters um, instead of going like um, A, B, C, D. And that's also how steps kind of works. Um, you go clockwise around the top letter, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, Q. No, not M, N, O, Q, <laughs> M, N, O, P, yeah. But the reason why I recommend memorizing the first letter of each face is because um, I've seen some people that I coached, um, for example, try to find whatever letter this is, and they just go all the way from here, and they basically sing like half of the alphabet song, going like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. Um, so if you just memorize just this letter um, right off the bat, then you're going to save several seconds like each time, pretty much. Unless you're memorizing like A, which you could probably find straight away. But you get the point, so I definitely recommend doing that for that purpose. Um, for those that might be wondering, like, okay, it's 36 letters, but they're kind of weird, so, like, how do you do that? So, if you paid um, close attention, you might recognize that those six letters are basically the vowels of the alphabet, but you, you just substitute O with MQ. So it's like A, E, I, instead of O, you have MQ, then you've got U down here. One other thing to note, um, in regards to sort of how the letters go clockwise around a face, um, I remember being confused with this when I started off. Um, I think other people get confused about it as well. Um, when going into back face, just remember kind of like how B is this and B prime is that. So you want to go to kind of go clockwise relative to that face. So pretending there's a clock on that face. So that's Q um, here and R would be here, um, but it's on the left on this side. So it takes a while to get your head to wrap around it, but um, if you want to memorize using spefs, then um, that's how it works. Anyway, the other thing that you're probably wondering is how to get that process faster. So for the most part, um, you just got to solve more and you'll get used to that. That's like the most straightforward answer. But some other things that I'll throw out there in case you want to, I guess, target that aspect is to do like tracing only practice. So I advised this in an old video. So you pretty much when doing tracing practice, you don't try to convert the letters um, into, and the pairs you make out of the letters into words or anything. You just kind of keep them with letters. Um, so for example, I'll use my orientation for this. I just kind of think L, N, um, R, K, D, O, um, or maybe as a beginner, kind of like, um, I in my head, I, J, K, L, that goes um, to M, N, and that goes to Q, R, so just focusing on which sticker of which piece goes to where um, and not getting too caught up on creating um, things that you have to memorize. I mean, technically when you're doing this, you're not just thinking of like your letter scheme, but you're also kind of thinking about the way in which cycles works and keeping track of what you've covered already um, and all that. But it's a lot less mentally um, demanding compared to like memorizing a whole cube um, in which there are a lot more processes involved, such as memorizing and encoding information and reviewing and all that. So that's like one recommendation. Um, the other one I heard from Noah Offers, who's like, you know, the OG um, blinder. Um, he had this idea where you take out like this assembler cube 
and you like, I don't remember the exact specifics, but I think you just chuck them aside and just point it to random stickers and try to figure out which letter that was as quick as possible. Um, but I haven't tried that out myself that much. Um, if anyone's tried that out, feel free to comment that, that down below, but that's just another idea I had in mind. Yeah, I think that that's about it. Um, for the most part, I just um, practice using it a bunch and through doing a lot of solves, um, I can just pretty much figure out which letter across much which sticker like instantly. It's like, how could I explain this? It's like opening a door. I don't go like... Okay, this is a, a brown wooden door, so... Um, if I ran headfirst into it, I'd probably die, or maybe not die. This is a metal handle. Um, it's, it's very metal. Um, I shall... I could use my right hand and lift it up 9 degrees and put it forwards like this and open the door, but it's objectively suboptimal because um, I have to step this way, then I can get to the door. But what if I use my left hand? then I can not awkwardly walk around like this. And you have to move your hand up in this angle um, to reach the door handle. If you move it too high, you will not grab said door handle. So you don't think about anything, you just open the door. Like that's kind of the stage that I'm at. Like it's really, I just see like a sticker on a piece and I know instantly what layer it is, so. I guess that's kind of like, I don't know if you can even see me, that's like the dream pretty much, um, that's your objective, and yeah, that's about it, feel free to leave any more questions, I might make another one of these videos because people liked it, and um, a bunch of coaching and stuff has helped me gain more insight into what people are after in terms of questions, and yeah, have a great day, stay safe, and goodbye.